You guys may have noticed there's something different in the hangar today. Don't worry, the red rocket is perfectly safe. It's actually just behind the camera right there. But I have a problem with this airplane. I mean, not really a problem, more of an inconvenience to me, especially while I'm flying. I like to fly safe. And right now, I don't have ADS-B in, but we're gonna fix that. Not gonna lie, it's really cool having both of my airplanes kind of next to each other. The red rocket is coming along. We are almost ready to start that back up. But uh, let me show you my inconvenience. And you may have seen it when we introduced the airplane, the avionics on the inside. Our, our GPS is, is left us wanting. In fact, that thing doesn't acquire for like 15, 20 minutes if it decides to acquire. So I have been using this guy right here. And uh, there are newer versions of this that have ADS-B in, but I don't. All I have is GPS on it. And uh, a friend loaned this to me until I could officially install the bomb, but I was waiting to do that until I... Uh, I introduced the airplane on the channel. So if you guys are unfamiliar with this, I did a whole video on exactly what it is, but uh, you can read down here. It's ADS-B in data recording. It's got its own heated pitot tube, Wi-Fi, GPS, AHARS, air data, angle of attack, and it's also self-powered by air. So this is a very cool device. You can use it as a backup, or in my case, you can use it for ADS-B in data and weather and all the, the nice little things. So let's get this opened up and I'll show you what it looks like. Now I am over here on the right wing of the airplane because I'm anticipating installing it in this area right over here which we'll get to in a minute and a little magnet there paperwork on everything that you need by the way the manual for this is online for the installation we'll be following it today uh, to get it installed but uh, <laughs> here it is <laughs> it looks like a literal bomb which is kind of cool now a new feature, um, I sent this in and had it refurbished. Uh, originally when I reviewed it, you couldn't tell if it was on because there was no indicator. Now there's an indicator, that, that's my fault. So you guys, you're welcome. But uh, yeah, take this off and carefully take this off at the back. You can see it's self-powered with its own impeller. And uh, yeah, this is cool. So uh, came with the hardware and everything that we're gonna need right here so let's get this marked up and together and installed on the airplane so i am going to be installing the bomb right about here and you are supposed to mount it underneath the wing and using the mounting bracket right here i'm going to utilize these two screws and the idea in the insulation manual you're supposed to have the bomb protrude in front of the wing just a little bit so that it gets uninterrupted airflow because it does have its own pitot system inside of it so it gives you accurate air speeds and things like that so uh, i guess the first thing i need to do is get these two screws out get this marked up and drilled so that uh, it can be in the proper space and uh, i will measure it forward and back like this to make sure that we're protruding just the perfect amount and to do that, I'm going to have to put all the mounting brackets on. It comes with two screws up at the top here. You just got to undo those. And then we take the mounting bracket that came with it and we slide it in, making sure that this screw hole in the front is moving forward. This aft one is long elongated so that you're able to pivot it to get this at the uh, angle that it needs to be so that it's straight in love with your wing when you're straight in level. Now, I did go and buy new hardware for this with, uh, what is it, the hex heads. Um, that's a personal choice of mine. Um, just make it a little bit harder so you don't just need a regular screwdriver. But there are locking uh, nuts and things that, and bolts that you can get that'll make it so you, you can't remove this from the airplane with just conventional tools. All right, and there it is. And I uh, didn't tighten it so much that you couldn't pivot this, but just enough so that uh, when we go and put it under there, we can get a really good idea. <sighs> okay, it is hot out here, guys. But, so this is gonna go right about here, I think. And if I tilt this back, so let's just say that that right there is the orientation it's supposed to be. That is looking really good. And uh, I am protruding here by uh, about an inch and a half. So I think that that's actually good because it's gonna allow me to put the screws up here, nearly center the bracket, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm gonna mark it here and mark it here so we can go get these drilled. Whew. 
All right, there it is all installed. You can see how this tapers perfectly up there. It's not making perfect contact in the back. I'm okay with that as long as the front is nice and clean. So there's one more step that we need to do, and that's to make sure that this guy is uh, kind of straight with the cord of the wing. And uh, you know what? It's, it's looking pretty good there. That's why they give you a little bit of adjustment right here. So I'm going to go ahead and drill this out and get a screw inside of it. And then if I need to fine tune it later, we'll get that done. And now with that second screw back there, that is job done, which I'm very excited about because uh, if, we, if we come up over here, uh, I've now got a clock, so I know what time it is. And, and so I know what, what temperature it is, and it's, it's 103 degrees, which is perfectly fine because I still need one more thing for this before we can go and fly it, and that is a mechanic sign-off on this installation. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that, and when you come back, we're gonna be flying this thing. All right, guys, we are in Nugget, and we are en route to Sedona, Arizona. Very, very exciting. I have a friend with me, family friend. She's come along for the flight today. But the purpose of this flight is to really just check out this right here. All right, and this is what we're here testing today, is the bomb. You can see it is giving us our uh, in route information via GPS. If we go back down over here, we can see all the traffic. And this, this is what I have been missing inside of this airplane. You can see Deer Valley Airport is just a hot mess. And having this information, situational awareness, is very, very, very important to me. So uh, very excited that this is working. All right, if we look straight out there, there is the tip of our bomb. Well, I mean, we're just, we're just looking at the mountains there, but that is cool. All right, case in point right here, here's the GPS. We've been flying for quite a bit here. It still hasn't acquired GPS. So uh, yeah, I'm really glad that I have the bomb because it's making a huge difference. This is so great. We've had a, a guy following us to Sedona this whole time. We're actually getting ready to kind of do a tour around it. Density altitude is a little bit much for us today, so we're just going to do a little bit of sightseeing, but you can start seeing the traffic around Sedona right there as well. This this is incredible, just for the ADS-B in alone. You ready for Sedona? Yeah, I'm pretty ready. You ready? All right, here we go. Okay, another successful flight in 666, and this time I had solid GPS information, ADS-B in, and a backup of all the things because of the bomb. And guys, it, it worked flawlessly. I could not be happier. Um, if you're interested in one, you can check it out online. I'll actually put a link down inside of the description. I also have a promo code that you guys can use to save a little bit of money on it, but uh, highly recommend one. I know there's other options and stuff out there, but the backup of all the things that you could use on your iPad is actually pretty compelling, especially on a bird this old with all the steam cages and avionics still inside of it. So uh, it is blistering hot. Guys, I'm out of here. As always, share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I'm not joking about that heat. It's, it's 105. Oh my gosh. <laughs>